I've been looking forward to flying this since it showed up at our door just a few days ago. This is a new airplane by Aeros, the Albatross. Recently on the channel, we featured the Viper 50 millimeter by the same company and it did a fantastic job. And basically, this is kind of the same class of airplane. This is an EDF or an electric ducted fan and it comes in as a budget flyer because it flies on 3S batteries, believe it or not, that Viper 50 millimeter flew really well. And they save a little bit of money by not having rudder. That's right, this is a bank and yank hand toss and belly landing airplane. I really liked that 50 millimeter Viper, but I definitely like the Albatross a lot more. Let's just say I like it so much, I put some RC Sailor stickers on it. It's already earning those just because it looks so stinking cool. Now, here's the added bonus to this EDF. It comes with, and maybe you can see it right there, just like the Viper 50 millimeter, a flight stabilization system that works extremely well. You can see that I've got a little Spectrum receiver mounted in there with my special secret weapon, which I'll have linked in the description box below. I would never consider using anything but the secret weapon to mount the receivers. And it has that extra channel. The fourth channel is flight stabilization. My favorite thing about this flight stabilization is how easy it is to set up. And I'll talk more about that after we put this in the air because I'm sure everybody's dying to see how it looks and flies, as am I. Without further ado, let's put it in the air and see how it does. Nate's favorite hand launching. <laughs> right into the sun, right into the ground. <laughs> That's why we hand launch in the ground. <laughs> He hates hand launching. Come on, chuck it! He's having a hand launch right into the sun with the wind. And he's up. I like the way the silhouette of this one looks. Really cool, really stealthy looking. Sounds good. Oh yeah, sounds really good for a smaller EDF. So, it recommends a 1300 milliamp battery and I've got a 22 in here. <laughs> a little oh, too I've heavy? Other, <laughs> Were you I too nose heavy? Nose heavy. I should have put it back on, probably. You got it in the air. There we go. So, it's flying good now. I just needed, look, hey, I don't sugarcoat things or hide things on the channel. You guys saw a couple nasty hand launches there. I needed to throw it harder and up more. Uh, <laughs> I feel like all yeah. this needs is some missiles and it would look so <laughs> cool, <laughs> right? It looks really good. You got those wingtip tips. Uh huh. Very cool. I like those. I love the way this looks. The profile in the air is really nice. It's mean, it's aggressive, and it's flying really well with that flight stabilization. Still needs a little up trim. There we go. And I probably could have trimmed it up more visually. Uh, but yeah, hey, and it can take a little bit of a beating. I was worried about that nose, but it took a couple solid hits on the ground. Let's see what happens when I turn stabilization off. Okay, it didn't nosedive, which I was worried about. <laughs> Woo, I, I look good. I definitely need to pull that battery back some for better performance, but there's a full throttle roll. And I'll shut up on this pass so you guys can hear what it sounds like, hopefully, over the runway. I think for a small EDF... It doesn't it sound like a 50, really, does it? really good. Yeah, I like the way that sounds. really like the way that sounds a lot. Will it snap, Nate? Oh, no, probably not. But I think the Viper did, didn't it? No, not really. Not really. I liked it, though. I liked that. You got a little nervous, didn't you? Because yeah. <laughs> I don't have a ton of up elevator right now. I'm having to hold it just a little bit, <laughs> just because it needs it needs visually trimmed up a little better on the ground. But you know what? That's a maiden flight. It's, it's the reason we do maidens is so people can see what to expect on their maiden. I don't think that it does anyone a lot of good when they buy a new airplane, they think about buying a new airplane. Do they wanna see it performing at peak performance? What it could be capable of in the hands of a professional and best case scenario? Or do you wanna see a realistic, real world ex example of, of the airplane's performance? I think this thing looks and sounds amazing. And yes, uh, I, I think, Abby, 
I should plop this on the ground, put another fresh battery in, push it farther <laughs> back and see if it performs better, which is what I'm expecting it to do. So let's actually just plan on doing that right now. We're gonna bring it around and land it back behind us. And I wanna to try to increase this thing's performance. I think that's fair for it because I like it a lot. So here's zero. Throttle. Landing in the sun. Yeah, it's hard. And here we go. Hey, that's not too hey, bad. Hey, pretty good. Not too bad. Good job. What happened? Well, the fuel tip broke off. Aww. Snagged in the grass. Poor thing. Yeah. Nothing that a little hot glue can't fix. So here's where I have the battery, and I think that I think part of the problem is those landings shoved it forward some. Looks like you have a lot of space for the battery to sit in there. Yeah. Remember, they recommend a 1300, and I've got a 22 in here. So for such a small EDF, it does have a lot of space. And we have reduced weight and drag now, so. <laughs> or it's gonna be topsy turvy. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's see if he does any better. Hey! There goes this other side, huh? <laughs> He's gonna get the other fuel tank before it's all over. <laughs> or missile, or whatever that is. Have fun looking at the sun glare of Nathan. He's running with it. He threw it toward the hill <laughs> to give it more cushion. <laughs> I saw that, that was smart. It just drops off right there. Oh, it's so funny. Once it gets in the air, it's great. Oh my goodness. That 2200 might just be too heavy in general, so mate. That's probably a weak arm anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah. you should have like hand chucked it from a wing. Well, I'm not good at that. I am really not good at that. But I think it's flying better with that battery pushed back some. Yes, it's recommended battery is a 1300 milliamp. And I'm flying on a 22 because I like flight time. And a lot of guys do fly the biggest allowed recommended battery in their, their airplanes. I think the CG is way better. It's flying better. I'm not fighting uh, to pull back on the elevator to pull out of things. It's This is a much better CG. You just need to have a friend launch for you or be prepared to look like a goober like me. Well, it looked like you launched toward the hill where it dropped off. So you would have like a little cushion there. <laughs> is that what you were kind of doing? No, I was running. I ran. You ran towards where it drops off though. That was just the, the wind. Mm. That's why I did that. It's flying <laughs> way better now. Once it's in the air, it flies great. You just gotta get this thing in the air. <laughs> I don't think that's fair. There, and you should be able to fix, what is that, a missile or whatever that it's fell off? A fuel tank. A fuel, it's tank. A tip fuel tank. You should yeah. be able to fix that, oh, no easy. problem. Yeah, just a dab of hot glue. I'm not worried about that. I love this thing. I really like this a lot. A lot it's a lot. really unique looking I like it. for a 50, at least in our collection. Yeah, I've not seen anything like this and i love that military Ooh, inverted that looks That's my good. third inverted pass oh Where have you been? <laughs> i don't know <laughs> uh, i'm looking at you on like a one inch screen so forgive me yeah the inverted fly is nice i like the nose on this plane me too. too me too I'm, i was worried that's where it was gonna snap on my hard oh yeah yeah i mean honestly you would think that'd be the weak point right don't jinx it you still have to land this well, one well that's true <laughs> Hey, it took four stinking beatings into the ground. I think we're okay. It's clearly strong. Yeah, it almost has an A10 look to it, doesn't it? It's just because it has that long fuselage in front of the wing. It vaguely reminds me of the A10. That, just the fuselage. <laughs> I really do like the way this sounds. You're at like three minutes plus all your failed attempts. So however you want to calculate that. Or constructive attempts. <laughs> are they failures or are they constructive steps in the right direction? <laughs> your attempts. We'll just go with attempts. We'll take the adjective off. Don't you like how this sounds? It sounds awesome. Whoa, that's fast. Yeah. You're cooking it, aren't you? Yeah, that's full throttle. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna bring it in here. I think it's time. It is time. Okay. All right. Let's try to slow down and not snap the other. <laughs> I mean, or thing. you can match it. Now I got a light breeze. I'm worried about back. the nose now after you no, said that. No, you kind of jinxed no, I yourself. Have been, but it's been, it's 
been good. And Flare! Oh, that was better. It didn't catch. <laughs> it did not nice catch that time. <laughs> If you were a real pilot in that jet, you'd be suffering some major whiplash after that landing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have that shoulder harness on. <laughs> I think I've been pretty fair in this video. You know, I, I can tell you guys fact. I can tell you for a fact, known fact, not a lot of channels are gonna show that many failed attempts <laughs> at a hand launcher. And, and I hope you guys understand I do that for a reason. I want you to understand nothing ever goes perfect in this hobby and hold up this world, right? But I think it's really fun to share such a great hobby with all of you. We, we are reminded when we go to airfields and clubs that when you see a fellow club member crash, you're like, ugh, I'm not the only one. And I hope that when I show goofy little attempt takeoffs like that, you realize you're not the only one. There are guys that will show up at the airfield and hand launch perfectly every time, but guess what? They were there 20 times while no one else was there practicing so that when they're in front of their friends, it looks better. <laughs> we all make mistakes. I've seen, I've seen paid pilots show up and crash planes before. So a cracked little piece of foam is no big deal. A little dab of hot glue, about a penny worth of hot glue, and we'll fix that and it's gonna look great in the air again. Absolutely no problem. I really like this. And I don't say this kind of thing very often, especially with a new airplane like that Viper 50. I like the Viper 50. It looks like a cool Formula One race car, but for me, I like the way this looks better. And even though I struggled with the hand takeoffs, same size battery as the Viper 50. I'd say the takeoff on the Viper was easier than this and better than this. I still like this more. That's just how I feel about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Performance in the air is fine, but the hand launch, obviously, chuck it hard. Get this sucker in the air. And look, things don't go perfect always. And that's why we encourage you to fly with AMA, the Academy of Model Aeronautics. I just renewed my spousal membership discount today. today. Three years, $114. So I'm going to fly for $38 a year. Hopefully three, my math is right. That's really good. Three years. Yeah. <laughs> three years. That's really good, Abby. Yep. I'm glad. I And yeah, the spousal. I've always said now, AMA, if you're listening, I think that you should offer a spousal lifetime yes. discount. I get a big discount. A huge discount if I sign up for lifetime membership I get a massive annual discount anybody does anybody, not just not you just but for whatever reason they do not offer spousal lifetime discount. no it's just the same so I would have to live like a hundred years for it to make sense for me yeah. or something I did the math forever ago and it didn't make sense but, but yeah I just renewed so it's basically an insurance program for those of us that fly. You just never can tell if it's gonna go perfect or not, you know, especially when you're maidening planes. And uh, yeah, it just makes me feel good and comfortable and confident to have AMA when I'm flying. It's a good Christmas gift idea too, because you get a magazine subscription annually. We'll have a link in the description box below near the link to this airplane. You know, it only took me like two minutes to renew. On the phone. On the phone. It was Isn't so fast and they're so nice. AMA, you can still, hello, I, I love need some it. help. It, I only had to be on like hold for 30 seconds and she pulled me up fast. Oh yeah, she's great. The human helps you, a real mm -hmm. person. So, and if you have questions, it's, hey, can I fly where I'm flying? Yep. We'll look into it and let you know, or or yes or no. You know, they're, they're great for that kind of thing, mm -hmm. if you're ever curious. So be an AMA member and you have those tools at your fingertips. Anyway, this, this was awesome. And I didn't even mention the assembly time of this Abbey. It was boom, boom, four screws. And I think I had to put, yeah, there's a little bit of glue that holds the uh, horizontal stabilizer on. I used hot glue. So if I can remember, we'll put our favorite hot glue in the description box below too. And remember this, I'll uh, tell you the secret weapon that holds my receivers in. That's in the description box below as well. And I do believe there's actually a Black Friday sale or pre-Black Friday sale going on for arrows right now in our description box. So check that out too. Okay, enough of the links and links and links. The assembly of this is great. It flies really good. It looks amazing. I say it's downsided for me is the hand launch. And I'm just being truthful and honest about it because you've seen me hand launch. Other things I do. Okay, definitely not great at it. This one I, I struggled with. 
I don't know. You struggle always, I think. Whatever. <laughs> You've struggled actually a lot more. I mean, with that being the only little bit of damage you got today, I uh -huh. am surprised. Yeah, yeah I'm real Because usually... I'm real happy. <laughs> he struggled. <laughs> Not that I'm any better. Well... I'm actually way, way, way worse. <laughs> you do. You have really destroyed some airplanes on your hand. <laughs> more than me. <laughs> Ups and downs life in general, RC hobby. I'm just glad we got to share this experience with you guys and for blessing us with this beautiful day to fly the Albatross. I say a massive thanks to God. Also a huge thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your amazing support. If you're into budget-friendly EDF jets, we'll have a hand-picked video just for you popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. See you there. Bye!